welcome back to the channel everyone um, so this week we're doing a little stepping stone tour this week um, where we were actually planning to go turns out they close on a Tuesday <laughs> so we couldn't go but not to worry we um, we found a lovely little walk we're in um, Gavre um, in Normandy I think that I think where I was um, we're heading along this little path here through this little park and heading up the hill and there's a chateau on the hill so we're gonna head up there hopefully get some nice photos and some views and things um, so we'll take you along for the ride as usual um, as always please consider subscribing it's really helping the channel and we're really growing now which is amazing to see give us a thumbs up and ring the little bell to notify you and don't forget to check out our Instagram along the bottom uh, see some of the photos we take along the way so let's get exploring walk through to start off I don't know if you can see behind me um, past the lady with the lovely dog that we said hello to um, there's facilities here for picnicking there's places that, that people can moor, moor up is that the wrong word tie up not moor up <laughs> tie up horses uh, <laughs> yeah I didn't mean moor up a horse <laughs> there's also um, pontoons all the way down here and this is quite common in France but what they have is little pontoons that are built for people in wheelchairs that can come along and fish in the river which is really really nice and there's all these little habitats that they've built for birds and um, wildlife and things so this is literally just walking through um, if you can see whoa quick spin up here's where we're going up towards the chateau on the hill but yeah it's a really nice little park come for a picnic especially more if you want to moor your horse <laughs> but there's about the same again to go. It's quite a trek. There is actually parking just down there that's a bit closer than where we parked, but we didn't get, you wouldn't have got to go through the little park where the moored horses are. Where we are now, these bits, would have been the main entrance to the chateau. So there would have been a drawbridge here and there was a little moat that went all, of, all the way around the outside because we are right on top of a hill, really high up. And the buildings were first built in the 11th century by one of the sons of William the Conqueror. There were loads of phases of building, there's actually three walls the outer wall to stop people getting in, the inner wall for the villagers, and then the, in, the inner inner wall for the main people that lived in the castle. There wasn't any sort of water or anything up here, but there is the river down at the bottom. So they'd have had to have gone into the river. There's loads of forests they would have hunted in. And I can't imagine having to bring all of that water and all of the food for all of the people that lived here all the way up that hill every day. It's a bit of a trek, but it is a lovely walk. Nobody here, as usual. We rarely find people at these sorts of places. And where we parked was free. The parking for the chateau is free. And I'll pop it in the description on what three words exactly where we are. So 
have just come a little bit up the hill. This part of the castle was protected by the, the Barbican with the outer fortress and then the drawbridge and then there was a tower. The towers almost completely disappeared. I think it was up here. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a place of defence. So this is part of the lower courtyard and when there was an attack coming, they used to ring the bell in the tower and all of the people that lived in the castle used to come down here into the lower courtyard. It's the lowest point of the castle where people would have been, apart from obviously the entrances. And this would have housed stables and storage places. This is the only part of it left, a semi-circular, sort of like a silo where they used to store grain. Obviously it's been rendered a bit to stop all the bricks falling down, but it's still quite interesting to see. And just at the top of the hill is the dungeons. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright is a newer bit built in probably they think about the 1400s but on this site was the round tower that kept a lookout it wasn't down there it was up here and at the base the walls were four meters thick and it spanned 15 meters across there's like a little diagram i'll show you that on there on the little info board but it's pretty mental to think that the walls were four meters thick We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it building that's just next to the roundhouse this one was square 15 meters by 15 meters again so it's pretty big and it was where the lord would have first lived he would have lived on the first floor and the ground floor would have been used for storage when they originally excavated this site they thought that this was one of the original buildings but it turns out it was actually built in the 14th century by the english after they had besieged the castle what I'm standing on now is the four metre wide wall. It is huge. And it would have probably been rebuilt following the excavations in the 17th or 18th century to give you an idea of what the castle would have looked like originally. It's in French, English, and I think German, but the colours rubbed out, so I'm pretty sure it's German. And you follow this little sign on your walk. Now, um, this was the grounds for a chapel in the 14th century until it burned down. And then what is partially standing now was the residence. So on this level, there was um, a big greeting area and halls where they used to do um, legal business and meetings and that sort of thing. And then there were cellars, kitchens, uh, storerooms, um, as well as the main bedrooms as well. So not much left of it now. 
but it's quite fascinating to see. Not a bad place to have your house, I suppose. hard to walk because it's like right between my legs. There's a hobby down the hill again. I just walked through the little village and I think I am in desperate need of coffee. <laughs> um, so we are probably gonna head back to the car now which is just down here um, and then head back and maybe pick up a nice yummy bun. It's not a bun! <laughs> a patisserie on the way home. Um, so next week, next week's probably gonna be quite exciting. Yeah because um, we've got plans to be heading to Mont Saint-Michel, which would be really, really nice. Um, I've got to do a nice little photo shoot for someone, so we'll be doing our video from there. And as always, doing our preparation for next year's trip, which we will do a talk about probably next week or the week after and give you all the, de the details, but it's really exciting. Can't wait for that. <laughs> so for this week, we're probably gonna end our vlog here. Thank you again for watching. Um, as always, please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up on the video, ring the little bell to notify you, and we will see you all next Friday. Bye!